you guys. It's us, her, me, that one. I'm Goofy. <laughs> we here to talk about the rap game season three, episode nine. This episode was good because my girl Debrat was in there. That is my favorite, favorite rapper of all time. Female rappers of all time. Shit, eat them other hoes up. I'm just saying. Um, I'm just saying. But yeah, this episode was about um, the teaming up. You know what I'm saying? Like collabs. So that was really cool because it always in the industry you have to collab with somebody. Some might be somebody you might not be able to have chemistry with, but it happens. So you have to be able to know how to adjust to those situations. So I was glad they had to do that this week. What did you think about them having to collab together? I didn't like the team. You didn't like the teams, but you thought it was okay to collab. So, so need to get to know each other and be nicer to each other more. Can you talk up and um, get up out of what you're doing? Thank you very much. Um, so, for team one, we had... Nova. Uh, oh, uh, wrong. Um, Dijanata and Roscoe. King Roscoe. Same thing. Just without the king. Okay. And then team two. You can't matter. Team two. Um, Tally, Nova, and Flower. Okay. So, what you didn't like about the teams? I didn't like the team one. Because D. Trinata thinks she's better than everybody else. And she's the boss of everybody. Yeah. So, they have to do these teams. And I thought the teams was cool. Because... Yeah, I think, yeah. Like, because who else would you would have put for the Trinata? Probably Flaje. Hmm. You know who I would have put? She hasn't yelled at. Well, yeah, that is true. That is true. But she, that was her first time really yelling at King Roscoe was last night, wasn't it? Yeah, she only argued with Tally and Nova before. So, it, it was just Fly J. It just wasn't her turn yet. I'm just saying. <laughs> but I think Fly J, J, Fly J and her mama would have put her in her place, though. So, yeah, that I don't think that should have worked. They probably would have had to fight. Um, but, yeah, I think that that would have been, like, a good turn-up collab would have been Fly J and her. Yeah. Of all the people in the house. Yeah. And then I think I would have put, like, I think Nova and King Roscoe would have did good together because both of them are lyricists. Both of them say stuff on a uh, rap, so, you know, I would have kind of put them two together too. But it didn't happen like that, and I was cool with the teams. Then Team 1 had to work with uh, Brian Michael Cox and um, Team 2 had to go with my girl to Brad, right? Ain't that how it works? Yeah, my girl to Brad. So, Who's they had, uh, he's a, oh my god, oh see, she, she young. I thought they meant she said that Fox guy she's so, Emmy. She is so young, but he is a dope producer, songwriter. That's no. what I thought they meant to say. <laughs> but yes, he has written for some of everybody you can think of, so yeah, they got a hit, he probably has something to do with it, like Monica and... <laughs> I think he wrote for Mariah Carey. He had wrote for some Mama. of your, the greats. So. Say Monica Legends. No. Oh my God, I swear. Why well, somebody go end up trying to watch this video? <laughs> Facebook called the Hot Box, right? 
and he always asked the quest he always asked the question to the um people that he interviews who do you think is more you know liable for the song the producer or the artist the producer and a lot of people say that a lot of people say the producer because they feel like the beat makes the song i don't feel like that the i song feel makes like the beat. i feel like the artist should be if he got so much skills he should be able to do something with a beat regardless if it's a whack beat or not so yeah we all be out here in vegas going at it over that question so I'm gonna pr- um, pose the question to you guys: Who do you think makes the song? The producer that makes the beat, or the artist? Because I think if you is talented and you got skills, you you can get the audience to listen to it regardless. Who's the so, guy in the studio that you go to make the beat? Yeah, who goes? Why the artist? You know how like when they go, the guy messing with the machine and yeah, that's people. the producer and stuff. Yeah. He the producer. So he make the beat. Yes, he's that's what Brian Michael Cox does. He makes the beats. He make beats for um, JD artists and stuff. So oh. yeah, so I feel like, but I feel like even if he have a whack beat, like say like if he made a beat for Beyonce, right, and it was a whack beat. It's up to Beyonce to come with some bomb lyrics and be able to perform it well enough that you not even tripping about that beat. You could be so busy into her song that you're not even really How you will get into the to beat. For, I'm not trying to get into Beyonce, but I, what I'm saying is an artist can make a song sound good regardless of the beat. You know what I'm saying? They can make the crowd like the beat. I, I just always feel like that, which I feel like. Leave it in the comment section. So, yeah, Detroit and I had a meltdown about this damn beat. And I was so over her at that point. I was with uh, King Roscoe, like, oh, she got a nasty attitude. And the whole time that he was talking about her, I was thinking She's about like, my daughter because my daughter wasn't here last night. That's why we're doing the tap now because she wasn't here last night when it came on. And all I could think about was. Oh, Makata is going to have a field day with this. She's going to be so happy that this girl is getting talked about. Cause she she needs like to her. get jumped. <laughs> no. Yeah. Nobody needs to get jumped. What the hell? You hang with the wrong people. You oh must God, hang with the wrong people. <laughs> anyway, um, you some wrong people sometimes. Bad person. Um, anyway. So, yeah, that, that whole thing with her having that meltdown, I was really, really irritated with that. I was like, girl, suck that shit up and keep on going. And that's what a lot of people was telling her, to suck it up, keep it going. So when they had to go and practice with their mentors or whatever, and that's what um, Brian Michael Cox had told her, because they could tell she wasn't feeling a the beat. They could tell that she was, they wasn't having no chemistry with each other and all that. And I was just like, she's going to ruin it for this little boy. She is going to ruin it. Um, but then, and I liked when the brat was practicing with Nova and them. I like, I think she kind of had an advantage <laughs> because she's an artist. I think she had an, an advantage because she knows how to rock a crowd. She, she's had been on the crowd with the so, so deaf team. So she know how to go in and out. You know what I'm saying? So she kind of had an advantage on that part to me. What did you think? About what? Did you think she had an advantage over uh, Brian Michael Cox? Did you think that she, like, had a up because she was a rapper? So she knew how to teach them how to perform? You're talking about Brian Michael, Michael, right? No, the brat. The brat knew how to teach Nova them how to perform. Brian Michael Cox is not... Talking about their words. was talking about their lyrics. And the brat was talking about how they supposed to perform it so they can get the crowd high. Yeah, so do you think that the brat... Ha- oh, oh, do you think that the brat had more of a up because she's a rapper? Yeah. Because Brian Michael Cox is not a rapper. He's not a performer. You know what I'm saying? So, I felt like she had an up, but this I wasn't mad good. because I like her and I liked her team. So, this good. yeah. Girl! <laughs> I promise something wrong with her. No, I don't want to have to all smell. This damn camera... <laughs> It's only because of the way it's sitting up. But, yeah, I think we got it this time. Have smell good, too. Yeah, I bought some. Girl, we supposed to be talking about this. And you over here, I'm like, I'm over here trying to find the other one I bought. But, anyway. <laughs> um, 
So yeah, they did the rehearsal. JD wasn't feeling none of them because JD thought Group Two was singing because of when he walked in, they were singing. I but I was so like, team. but I was like, you know, it is people that <laughs> sing hooks. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of they rappers, but hey, I understand I say, what you're saying. I'm just a friend. I'm gonna punch <laughs> her. Oh, all up in here, honey. all up in here. Girl, stop for you to be tripping and stuff. <laughs> well, they be tripping about a key. No, you singing that song. Oh, <laughs> I didn't see more than thirty seconds of it. <laughs> That's when you know she be on YouTube a lot when she know the rules. <laughs> um, what happened? Okay, so they go back home after the practice. Did they get into it? Oh no, that's when the kids found out that um. Fly J mama had bought them them jackets. I thought that was really, really dope. With old Dietra not a hating ass talking about they look like R and B. I was like, oh my God. Them jackets is I was like, mama, I like that. You need to get some for your uh thing. Girl, it's gonna be like a hundred million degrees in July. No, we're not doing no jackets. I'll I be I'm talking about next year for winter. Oh, I'm like, I'll be telling people like y'all better not come with a lot of clothes on for that event. I'm just saying. You better come with be a suit, some sh- booty shorts. <laughs> for real, for real. Maybe y'all guys come with some booty shorts. No, no, no. <laughs> <A> swimsuit <laughs> no. and no shirts. I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> nah, cause she, cause then she gonna be stuck in the room. Oh, me? Yeah, you. You let some dudes come with some booty shorts and they shirt. Uh, you ain't gonna be in there. Don't listen to me. I'm supposed <laughs> to be the DJ. <laughs> no, you not. For the kids, yeah. Girl, no, you're not. You said I care when we were checking out the hotel thingies. I don't know what she talking about. I asked you, you yeah. said I can be the boss of the girl, uh, Miss, uh, the kids. I don't know what she's talking about. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. Can we not argue on camera because I don't know what you're talking about <laughs> I don't oh can we finish that conversation later because I really don't know what you're talking about anyway after oh okay she did say King Roscoe did get in trouble by his mama because he wasn't remembering his lyrics when um they got to the house he was remembering at rehearsal but he didn't remember him at home and when I seen her get mad I was like oh she ain't playing Cause we don't see her get like that. She usually be the peacemaker in the house. I want to see her go off on telling. No, she always tell people to go off on people. Cause no. the, in the, in the show for the the, the preview for. Can the you show? pay attention over here? Come on, keep talking. Oh. You was talking about. Oh, in the previous episode, they said that she was going Roscoe Mom was gonna go off on Tally's sister. Oh, we just probably ain't got there yet. And that's all you waiting on? Yeah. I want to see what she yelled at her about. Oh, God. Anyway, so they get to the um, school because they end up going to perform for halftime for a high school out in Atlanta. And they the kids were very nervous and, you know, understandable. Um, and they got to talk to their mentors before. That's when the Tornado was hating on the um, little jackets or whatever. But... They performed, and they did, like, a little coin toss, and Detronada had to pick heads or tails. She picked tails. So they ended up going first. And I thought that was kind of a, a, a good move for them to go first because of Nova. Nova has this energy that you did not want that to take away from y'all performance. And then by y'all being not as hype as them, yeah, I think that they should have went first. They shouldn't, yeah. If Nova them would have went, it, yeah. Well, it, it probably would have went the same damn way it went. Because <laughs> Nova would have still made them yeah. make them feel bad. But I did like how um, King Roscoe went and grabbed the cheerleader off the crowd. because, And like he told JD, because if they see somebody that they know, then they would get crunk too and want to dance. So I thought that was a really good move on, on his part. I did think that... You could tell the chemistry was off with them. You can tell, like, again, she didn't like the beat. Um, but, yeah, I didn't see the chemistry with them at all. See? You didn't, you, they wasn't dancing together. I think if they would have, like, a little dance routine, even though she's not a dancer and he's more of a dancer, if she would have just to tried to do some kind of little move, you know what I'm saying, then um, that would have made a little bit of a difference. 
Nova is just a ladies' man. All the girls are gonna like him. They like the hair. They like the light skin, the little Not boy. Me. I'm just saying. But <laughs> so the little high school girls are gonna gravitate to him. And he got dope flow, so the boys are gonna gravitate to him. That's why they because him on the you cheek. saw the boys up there rocking with Nova, so you you know it wasn't just about his looks. Um, Tally. She wasn't hyping up. Yeah, I mean she ain't found her swag at all. She should have just copied Nova. Something. They should have taught her a dance move. Or she should have did she that dance move. She should have at least that, know how to hit the folks or something. Yeah, but she should have did that dance move she was trying to get um homegirl oh, them to do oh. last time. She she should they should have did something. Fly J, I would I'm with J D. Like sometimes I don't understand what she's saying either. She be talking so fast that I don't be understanding everything that she says either. But I do think she do get into the the um performance, so she do be hyped up. So, um, yeah, they perform both of them perform well to me. I just like one team more than the other. That's all that was. They kissed Nova on the cheek. Like I, I said, he was a ladies' man to them girls. He was really a lady man to them girls, and there was girls nothing got, they could do about Tally it. Tally and Flaje got excited that they kissed him on the cheek. Yeah, I was like, like yeah, I was like, why are y'all so excited? <laughs> but then, okay, let's get back to the house. Hit list. She loves the hit list, and she really loved I've the hit list this here. week. She really loved it this week. So when I seen it, I said, my daughter is going to go crazy. Number five. And I agree with JD she when it comes to up. number five. I just really agree. It wasn't nothing bad that she did. It was just no chemistry, and you can tell. Number four. Tally. Deserved number four. She did. Number three. Deserved number three. Everybody deserved their spot. She's this salty. Week. <laughs> number two. Roscoe. King Roscoe. Ooh. And he deserved his number two spot. Congratulations. You you stand in number two, so hey, it's not four. Um, and number one. Nova. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all know I like Nova. Like I said, I am for the talent. It ain't got nothing to do with his ego that his I can't attitude. stand. None of that. It's not nothing about that. It's about this boy got talent. I want him to put it, put his ego in check. But it's about the talent, and he has it. Nobody can deny the boy's talent over the other kids whatsoever. But like I said, you know, J.D. have, you know, surprised us on his winner. So, mm, Nova, don't get too cocky. I'm just saying, because last year we was not ready. I'm just saying. But anyway, we got four more weeks, so we'll see. I thought it was five. No, he said four more weeks. Maybe five shit, but... I wanted to hurry up. Anyway, that's all we got. Do you any shout out? Oh my god. I'm going to punch her in the forehead. Well, my hair is real. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't even got no. Grandma beat the sh- dog shit out of her. Even though ain't nothing wrong with my hair. My hair in the ponytail. That's why I got it on here because it's in a ponytail. It's not down, it's not wrapped up. Girl, and everybody know how hood I am, bitch. I mean, girl, I mean, not trying to call her no bitch at all. But everybody know this bitch right here is real hood. That's why my shit called the ghetto view because it's ghetto. I'm just saying. And look, you acting real ghetto too. I'm just saying. Follow me on all social media sites by the ghetto view. T H A. Not T H E. And make sure you guys are coming to the It's All About Support event. It's $200. No, it ain't. July <laughs> the 7th through the 9th, we're going to have fun. If you some kids, tell your mamas to come out here and bring you to come have fun. We're going to go to Adventure Dome for the kids. We're going to go to. Um, the parties, the clubs, that we're going to do downtown and do a scavenger hunt. So if you young, tell your mama I'll to come find it up first. with us. I'm just saying, it's in Vegas. So if you young and want to come to Vegas, go tell your mama you want to come to Vegas. Come on. Uh, <laughs> it ain't free, though. I'm just saying. I, I ain't paying for it. Tell your mama. I'm just saying. Anyway, you got any shout-outs, little girl? Me. Spider-Man, Superman, Supergirl. <laughs> go watch Supergirl. <laughs> okay, stay Go watch Star... Go watch SpongeBob, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs>
some Cartoon Network, some Family Guy, some, some inappropriate shows. I'm just kidding. <laughs> she finna go to bed, so <laughs> good night, you guys.